guys, it's Mackity Wednesday, and I just wanted to start off this video, like I unfortunately have to start off almost all of my videos by apologizing for not filming for a little bit over a month. Um, as you guys know, this is my senior year in high school, so I've been super busy with applying to colleges, and my job has at camp has finally like kicked off, so I've been working about every other weekend and also um, showing the weekends pretty much I'm not working and then other developments with horses. So I've had very little time to film and it's been getting darker sooner, which means that the light goes away to film with. So it's just given me very limited time to film. But I am filming for you guys today and I think it's a pretty exciting video. It's going to be the Piper Smart Pack Knee Patch um, Breaches Review. That's quite the mouthful. Um, I just wanted to do this because I have a couple of their breeches and it is kind of becoming the new hype with breeches. So um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get on into the review. To start off the video, I am going to read the way that Smartpak markets these breeches on their website off of my extremely destroyed, embarrassing, and ugly phone. Too fun to have just one. The Piper Knee Patch Breeches by Smartpak are the perfect choice for breeches to wear in the schooling ring. With many stylish color options to choose from, these breeches can be mixed and matched to create the perfect outfit. The ergonomic design and features make these breeches comfortable to wear all day long with excellent shape retention. Once you put them on, you'll want another pair. Favorite features. 2 inch contoured waistband to eliminate gapping. Low rise cut for the model look you crave. Ergonomic shaped panels at the calf to eliminate bulky closures. Synthetic knee patch for fantastic grip and durability. Euro seat and front zip. I personally love, love, love the Piper breeches. Um, and I think that most of the claims that they make are true. Also, another great point about these breeches is their price point. They're priced around $80, which qualifies you for free shipping at Smartpak, but also they have a lot of sales a lot of the time for 20% off, sometimes 10. I like to wait out for the 20% off, which leaves the breeches around 60 bucks, which is super affordable for the quality that you're receiving. A lot of low quality breeches will be around 60 bucks, which is unbelievable to me, and they won't even last that long. They won't have great durability, or they won't feel good while you're riding or just around barn. And I think that these Piper breeches do have those elements to them, which makes me love them so much. I have them in four really fun different colors. First color that I have is the Monaco Blue and Lilac. The second color that I have is the taupe and mint green. The third color that I have is what they market as military green and black, I'm pretty sure. Um, however, it definitely is a brown. And the fourth and last color that I have is Merlot and Gray. I am a big fan of how many options that they give you for colors. I do know that they more recently came out with a more classic brand of Pipers um, that are just more, you know, conservative. And I definitely want to look into getting some of those. I love my colorful ones, but I am a classic hunter girl myself. So I would love, love, love some more classic colored hunters. Um, hunters. Classic colored Pipers. Sorry, hunter brain. Um... However, I do love these breeches and I think they're great and they're very durable. There are some, I guess you can say nitpicky, um, but there are some things that um, lower the quality for me. Some cons, I guess you can say. One of the first cons that I have is the inside of the breeches, like in between your legs, does pill easily and quickly. Um, I'll try to show you an up close, but here's my taupe and mint breeches. I don't know if you can see from this view, I know it's not in focus, but it, it is, it has started to pill. It's just bothersome, it's more of just like an aesthetic sort of thing. It's not that big of a deal because you can't really see it when you're walking and you can't really see it when you're riding, but when you own the breeches, you just kind of pick up on these small things. Another issue that I have, and I'll show you this on my Monaco and Lilac breeches, is that the stitching uh, around the belt buckles and just in other places easily comes loose. The thing about it is it hasn't affected the belt buckles in any sort of way. It's not like they're falling off. I guess it's just, you know, it has a lot of stitching for reinforcement, but I have noticed that some of the stitching is coming off on my breeches, which is quite disappointing to me personally. Um, 
it doesn't it doesn't affect the way the breeches work or how they feel on it's just something that I've noticed um, just another aesthetic sort of thing another thing is the euro seat on the back of some of my breeches I think it's mainly present in my Merlot and my military green breeches is it's become kind of looser over time which I don't understand so it'll get these kind of like folds and it's not like my breeches don't fit me right they just get kind of folds in them and it makes my butt look kind of saggy which I don't really appreciate I mean when I pull them up it's fine like when I pull them up more or like tighten my belt but like just like after a while of like riding and stuff and getting off they didn't do that when I first got them, so that's why it's bothered some to me because I do know a lot of breeches do tend to do that when you're riding and then you get off and you're walking around. So, I mean, it's not a terribly big deal, but it is something that I've noticed. Um, as for issues with my Piper breeches, I think that's all the issues I have. Um, some of the awesome, awesome pros of these breeches that I absolutely love is the sock bottom that they have I'm obsessed with sock bottoms and the ones on these are just insanely comfortable they fit really nice under my boots there's no awkward bulkiness as they claimed in their website um, and they're just super comfortable and the material of these pipe breeches is really really stretchy and it really moves with you and it's great in the saddle and it's basically like thick leggings and I mean, you guys all know how comfortable leggings are, and it's like leggings but breeches, and it's amazing. Um, they're definitely not a summer weight type of breeches. They're, I mean, you can wear them on the summer, and I'm not gonna lie, I do, and I have. However, I feel their weight is more appropriate for every season but summer. Um, I also do live where the summers are kind of hotter, so maybe if your summers aren't as hot as mine are, they would be appropriate for wearing in the summer, and you won't sweat like a dog. Um, another thing that I love about these breeches is they come in a regular and a long option. Uh, I started off purchasing them in regular, um, just because you know I'm used to I'm used to purchasing breeches in regular. However, I am almost five eight, so I've started purchasing them in long, and I love the way they fit a lot better. They just go further down on my ankle. Um, they run pretty true to size. They're just super fun and the colors are really cute and I really love that and they have that wide waistband that I love so I can wear thick belts with it and just like there's so many different ways you can create really fun outfits and ROTDs with this and I just, I don't know, I'm obsessed with these breeches. I think that I may possibly buy just like one more kind of classic pair but I really want to widen the variety of breeches that I have. I'm thinking about trying like the Godot breeches. I want to try the Lafash or whatever breeches but they're way too expensive so I know I'm not going to. But as for these Piper breeches, I could probably be happy with only owning Piper breeches and then my separate tailored sportsmen's for show. They, they, they're just very comfortable. They move with you. They have many, many options for colors. They're at an affordable price point. They have very few cons. The care and maintenance for these on top of this is super insanely easy. I just throw them in the wash with the rest of my clothes inside out normally because that helps like just preserve them. And then I can even throw them in the dryer. I don't even have to hang them to dry. And I recommend throwing them in the dryer because if I don't, mine get kind of linty. So when I just put them in the dryer and that's fine and it doesn't change the size or anything. So that's another really big plus for me. Alright, so that's all that I think I have to say about my lovely Piper breeches. I'm obsessed with them, and if you haven't tried them, I really do think that you should go look into it more, maybe look at more reviews, but I mean, honestly, I would just go ahead and purchase them because they are amazing, amazing breeches, such good quality, such an affordable price, and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, found it helpful, I hope it was, um, you know, I hope you could find out the good and the bad about them, not just the good. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, comment below if you are doing No Stirrup November this month, because I know I am. And I am also doing No Makeup November, so that's why I look like this. Um, anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Love y'all. Bye.